So in this video, we're going to go through uh, how to successfully install, remove, uninstall, and basically do whatever you need to do to get Refinery to show up in Dynamo. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through this list here. Um, uh, you will need Dynamo 2.0.2 .2 or newer, I believe, to get this to work. So I'm going to go through that portion as well. So um, we're going to start from almost a complete clean install. I do have Dynamo 2.02 .02 installed already. So if you don't already have that, please get that, pause the video, um, and get that going. Okay, now we're going to download the refinery package, which looks like this. It has a little .7z, um, essentially a compressed zip folder. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And that's going to show us a bin, extra, and package file. Um, we're going to need to move these contents uh, to a new location on our on our hard drive um, in order for it to show up. It's been a little bit of confusion on where that thing needs to go exactly. So once you're ready to extract that folder, um, this is this is the hang up here. I believe people are getting uh, hung up a little bit here. There are sort of two. Uh, locations on the hard drive that, that look similar, but they aren't. Um, let me see if I can get that open. So there's this folder, which is off your programs file, and then there's this folder, which is off user app da data. So they both look like they're the same file, but they are not. One will say 2, one will say 2.0. Same thing, nothing different about them other than, you know, one. One is where you need to place this, and one is um, not. So uh, before we do that, the other issue I think people are having is getting back to just a clean, fresh install um, for Dynamo. So um, that issue, you're going to need a um, essentially what is a troubleshooting uh, cabinet to uninstall everything related to Dynamo off, off the computer. So typically what people do is they go add or remove programs. Um, in this case, um, you need to uninstall 1.2 or 0.9 or all that stuff. And notice that I can't uninstall this um, for some reason. That's where that cabinet manager is going to come in handy. We're going to go ahead and get that thing loaded. You will need admin rights on your computer to do this. So it's going to search through essentially everything on your computer, including the registry. It's going to ask you what you're having troubles with, and I'll put a link for this um, out in the uh, in the description below. But it is from Microsoft's site. I am signed into this site. You basically download this file and let it run. Essentially, what it's going to do is uh, look for any patch-related problems, any sort of install problems it's had. It's going to check the registry. Um, and then find that, that core file that needs to be uninstalled so we can really, truly start fresh. Um, like I said, a lot of people are just straight up uninstalling it and hoping for the best, but you know what, that thing is still living on that, on that hard drive. We need to get rid of it. Okay, and since I've already removed it, um, it's not going to show up here, but essentially there's both those um, instances you'd want to remove. One might say Dynamo Core 1.2, 1.1, 1.3, something to that effect. Um, once you select it, hit Next and get rid of it. Um, this will actually remove it from the computer. Um, that way it's not trying to source this or read from it or, or anything like that. Um, so pause the video. Welcome back. Uh, we'll get moving on to the next step. Um, so let's go ahead and move those packages over to um, our app data. So you'll see I've moved that um, folder into into the uh, packages for Dynamo Core 2.0. Um, I haven't done anything else. That's all I've done at, at this point. Let's back up to Revit 2.0 packages. Same exact thing. Refinery is right there. I didn't do anything to it. Um, however, now that it's been unpacked, um, you're going to stumble across a problem, which is things like this. Um, I've, I've since already removed the unblock, but what you're actually going to see is this little guy down here. 
And instead of going through and checking that checkbox and hitting OK, um, it might just be a little bit quicker, smarter to grab this whole file path and open up Windows PowerShell. And give it a path. Put in quotes. Type in the word recurse. Unblock dash file. Hit enter. It's, not, it's going to look like it didn't do anything, but it did. It basically removed, um, it, it checked that checkbox for you and then removed um, essentially this little warning right here. So it went through and did that to every single file in this folder. So now um, that that's unblocked in the Dynamo Revit folder, go back, go to the core, grab Refinery, now Control-C, all of that file folder, go back into PowerShell, do the exact same thing, directory, dash path, quote, paste it, quote, um, dash recurse, space, um, hold shift, um, above and hit the key above the enter key for the um, kind of the vertical bracket space unblock dash file and that will get you the same exact effect it'll uncheck all those little check boxes so you won't have that now you should be good to go um, you should be able to launch Dynamo and get that refinery package in there um, one more thing I'm going to add um, when you use a watch node in here. Don't forget to come in here and check the checkbox for is output. Um, otherwise, it's not going to show up in your graph when you go to, to run it on refinery. So hopefully that's helpful. That's all the steps you need to do. That's that's basically it. There's there's no other tricks or tips that, that I can do. If it's not going to work on your machine, it's simply because it's not going to work on your machine, um, go to a different computer and that, ha that you have full admin rights to and uh, uh, basically follow those steps again and, and, and do it on that computer. Okay, thanks everyone. Again, put your comments below um, of this video and uh, I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you.